fight against coronavirus, the first confirmed case of the Brazilian variant has just been found in New York State. The state saying that that patient is a Brooklyn resident in their 90s who has no travel history. While the Brazilian variant is more contagious, a new study from Oxford University says both the AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccines do offer protection against that strain. And the race to vaccinate ramping up across the tri-state area. Today, several pop-up vaccine sites opened across New York City, also Westchester County. News 4 stopped by Walker Memorial Baptist Church in the Bronx. It's one of more than a dozen pop-up sites opening. We met one man with a personal reason for getting vaccinated. Fortunately, um, my father passed away in April from COVID. Uh, my mother got vaccinated recently. My aunt got vaccinated. I'm going to still be cautious, but it will just give me, allow me to feel a little extra layer of protection. The next pop-up vaccine site opens on Tuesday at St. Philip's Baptist Church on Staten Island. And New York State hitting an important milestone in the race to vaccinate. More than 5 million New Yorkers have now received their first dose of the shot. That's nearly one-fourth of the state's population. And more than 2.6 million New Yorkers have been fully vaccinated from COVID-19. In the meantime, Valley Hospital in New Jersey helping thousands of teachers get their shots this week. Eligibility for teachers and school staff opened up earlier this month, but appointments have been hard to come by. The hospital set aside appointments now specifically for those who work in Bergen County. They have vaccinated 5,000 people this week, including 600 just today. It's a huge relief, and not only for myself and, and my two children, but for the other students that I teach every day. So knowing that I can't, that I'm protected and I'm protecting them as well is a huge relief. Congressman Josh Gottheimer was on hand at the clinic today. He thanked health care workers, spoke about the importance of reopening New Jersey's schools. So far, New Jersey has fully vaccinated more than 1.1 million people. That's an eighth of the state's population. And more than 2.2 million people have received their first dose. In Connecticut, more than half a million people have now been fully vaccinated. And nearly a million people have, have received one dose of the vaccine.